Claus to welcome to Creative Wing Studio. had a great week. I had one of the most productive weeks that I think I've had, I shouldn't say ever, but in a long time. Uh, that new schedule is working out splendidly. Um, I mentioned last week that I'm getting down to the studio earlier and just diving into my art side of the business and making time to paint. Just like, like last week's um, phrase was make it happen, I made it happen. I took that advice and I ran with it. So it was a great week, uh, not only productive and I got to create and paint a lot, but um, I started this, it was called Three Day Reset. And it was a, it's really not a diet, but it's it was, three days it was a diet that you followed for three days but it gave me this motivation to eat healthier basically that's what it was all about it was kind of like just resetting your brain um, because you know we were on vacation Christmas it started with Thanksgiving <laughs> you know and then Christmas and then when you're on vacation you know you eat out a lot and I really needed a, a reset but anyways it was through Shalene Johnson I have followed her forever. She is uh, huge into nutrition and fitness and she has a lot of workout videos through Beachbody, which I have all her workout videos. I love them, I love her. Anyways, she had this three day reset. And the only reason I'm really talking about it is because there's a couple little things in this three day reset that I'm going to share with you. Uh, so I love crunchy in my salad. And I love croutons. Well, croutons aren't healthy. It's made from bread, you know, preservatives, blah, blah, blah. Well, in here, she talks about just taking chickpeas, canned chickpeas, which is what I did. And I have a bunch of canned chickpeas for whatever reason. I think I bought a bunch because I was going to make hummus and I never did. Anyways, uh, and then you rinse them, lay them out to dry. When they are, I used a paper towel to speed it up put them on a cookie sheet. Well, no, first you uh, put them in a baggie and you put some olive oil in there, uh, paprika, some salt and pepper, put them in a bag, shake that up, lay them out flat, and you bake them until they're crunchy. It, it's so good, and chickpeas, I think they have protein in them, but they're way healthier than um, croutons. And I don't know, oh, it's just another real quick tip. So kale is really good for you, but I don't like kale because it's kind of chewy and like it's not crunchy like lettuce. Well, they had this kale salad and you put some olive oil on it and then you massage it and it kind of breaks it down and it makes it real limp and it's del super delicious the salad. That was the best salad I've had in a long time and it was basically just this amazing dressing that we made uh, from the recipe it was it was crazy the ingredients in this and I thought this is gonna be disgusting it was so good and then it was over the kale I can't remember what else, what, what else was in it but anyways it did really reset my thinking and um, I was really glad that I that I was only like $15 and you get all these recipes and stuff. So um, Kevin even loved that salad. I couldn't believe it. And one night though, it was pea soup. And I would love a good pea soup recipe, but this one was not the one. And we kind of choked it down. I didn't like it. So I, not everything was good about it, but anyways, uh, then 
Uh, Sunday, last Sunday, we celebrated Ryan's birthday. So the whole gang was here, which was so awesome. After being gone to Florida, it was like the first time seeing everybody again. And we had so much fun. And um, then the grandkids came over on Thursday. And if you follow me on Instagram or if we're Facebook friends, you have seen a couple of really cute videos. Ellery is talking so much now. And a lot of it, like she'll just like run on with these sentences and you have no idea what she's saying. Uh, but sh I can't get enough of these kids. You guys, they're so much fun. And, uh, I'll put a couple clips at the end of this video, but, uh, so Sunday when everybody was here, I don't know, I couldn't find something. And I, I say what the bananas I've said that for years, but and when the way I say it is like, if I, it's like, what the bananas? Like, I can't find that with the bananas, you know, that's kind of the context that I say it in. And so anyways, watching Pam and stuff, I know Steph says banana pants, but I don't think she says it in the same context. I think she's, she's more like that banana pants. Like that's awesome. You know, so it's kind of in a different context anyways. So, what the banana pants just rolled off the tongue on Sunday when I couldn't find, I think I was looking for a container to put some leftovers in and I'm like, what the banana pants? Where's all my containers? And Brianna goes, did you just say what the banana pants? <laughs> I just started laughing. I'm like, yeah, I did. I know, but it's better than cursing, right? So anyways, Ellery picked up on that and she said it when they were eating lunch and it was the cutest I'll definitely put the clip in here it's so cute and um and Brie and I told Brie about it and she's like did you say that like earlier in the day I'm like if I did I don't realize that I said it maybe she just remembers it from Sunday but anyways I sent the clip to uh Stephanie from just keep stitching because I actually said in the video I'm like that was for you stuff oh my gosh just just a delight those children are just a delight. You guys, I'm taking my last Christmas tree down tomorrow. So you guys already know, you know, like after Christmas, I normally keep my tree up until the baptism of the Lord, isn't it? It's like the 12th, I think it was, of January. But we were going to be gone to Florida, so I wanted everything down before we left. Well, I got everything down except the big tree in the basement. And I thought, well, it's in the basement, whatever, it'll be fine. I'll do it when I get home. Got back from Florida and, you know, when you are when you own your own business and you've been gone for 11 days, it's like crazy getting ready and getting caught up in everything. So uh, I was going to do it last Sunday, but then we had the whole family over for dinner. Anyways, no excuse now. Tomorrow, that is my, that's like my major goal after going to church and getting groceries. Come home, put that stuff away, and I'm going, <laughs> because I can't take it anymore. I go downstairs and that's the first thing I see and I'm like, I can't, I can't look. <laughs> oh, go. So I was telling you guys last week how a teeny is like freaks out uh, if it's really cold out and our deck pops. I explained it last week. Anyways, guess what? It was super duper cold last night. I was up until three o'clock in the morning with this dog. I took her downstairs. I gave her some hemp oil. I put her uh, thunder shirt on. And I took her in the basement because it's a little bit more quiet down there. And I turned on my phone on Pandora just because I'm like extra noise will help drown it out. There's a little space heater down there and that makes noise. So I thought, oh, you know, she could still hear it up until three o'clock in the morning. And then I just don't sleep good anyways anymore, it seems like. And I don't know, I'm running on fumes. Let's just put it that way. Okay, announcements. You guys, I have something. Ooh. So excited. Okay, I've been working with Dappy Dots. Uh, and I it's finally happened so that I can share it with you guys. I gotta show you all the goodies, all the adorable things. I know you guys are familiar with Zappy Dots. I just know it. Everybody knows about Zappy Dots. So they make needle minders, they make scissor fobs, and then what is this called? This is a magnetic needle tin, which ah, so the she sent this to me. It has my needle minder in it, but I have to design this, the top of the tin, the tin slides open 
and you put your needles in there and your needle minder. But, um, so anyways, this is not my design on the top. I have to do that for her. Um, that's why she sent it to me though. So I could see the measurements and, and all that. But anyway, I can at least show you the needle minder that was on it. Oh, hold on. Oh, I gotta explain what I'm wearing. Okay, it's not a moo. <laughs> Kevin got this for me last year. It's basically, it's really long and it's something to wear to paint in. It's got pockets and it's got this like little flap, little ruffle type thing here. It's super comfortable and I told him, I goes, I don't wanna paint in it, I don't wanna get paint on it. So I had to get a piece of paper so I can show you some close-ups. So that is Be Kind, my cross stitch, Be Kind. Oh, I should have took all these out. Oh, Teresa. Can I show them in the package? Is that going to show? Yeah, I think you can still see it. All right, I'm going to come in closer. Y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't have this planned out very well, did I? But anyway, these are available now at zappy.com. Star shaped snowman. Needle minder. And then we've got, look, rejoice needle minder. And then we've got. Oh my gosh, well they're magnets and they're all sticking together. That's why I'm having a little bit of a trouble here. And then we got this one, Bloomin' Hen. I love these. Uh, she didn't send me all that they have. Uh, then we've got Newcastle Bouquet. Newcastle Bouquet and um, Land That I Love. I hope you could see Kevin's face. I don't know if you saw him when he walked in. He forgot I was recording. You should have seen the look on his face. Oh, I got this one sideways. Good golly. Newcastle bouquet. God, I'm having a real, I am not. I am not a Vanna. Vanna, Vanna. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever. These are not wanting to focus for me. Another thing that's cool is, oh, I didn't show the scissor fobs. <gasps> oh, look. Home for Christmas, Scissor Fob. Are you kidding me? It eventually focuses. And then look, the angel. Angelic Vision Scissor Fob. But she has these cool... Uh, bracelets, if I can figure out how to open it. I swear I couldn't find my way out of a box. Good lord. Here we go. Okay, so you take this bracelet and then you can take out, you can take your needle minder and stick it on the bracelet. Right? Okay. How cute is that? Super cute. I just love these and it and this bracelet will go on your wrist so easy because it opens like that so anyways that was my exciting announcement for you guys i need to put all these back in the box my table you guys should, you should see it it's absolutely just full and loaded i have so much to share with you it was a busy week i got all my directions and covers and everything done for the new release and Kevin is over there right now, feverishly printing and cutting and folding <laughs> everything so that um, we can start shipping. It's probably the end of next week or the beginning of the week of February 8th. So, yay! Super excited about that. Yeah, so the new release video will be out Tuesday or Wednesday. I am planning to fully finish the three, it's only three. It was gonna be three cross stitch and one punch needle. It's only two cross stitch and one punch needle because I just didn't have time. I couldn't do 
that. So plus March, I mean, basically in less than a month or about a month is my big release for March for the virtual uh, show. So I just, ah, too much. It's too much, too much, too much. So um, it's still a release though and it's still exciting. And the, the two, oh, the two cross stitch patterns, the, which really, what is really cool about the two patterns I'm releasing is that they kind of color coordinate. They kind of use the same colors. And uh, you'll see. You'll see. I don't give too much away. Okay, Q&A. Annie asks, when will your fabric be released? And she asked if we could, if I could share the name of the line. I know, you know, fabric companies are very protective of what they're working on, and I totally get that. Uh, so I don't know how much I can say as far as the line and what the line is going to entail. I'm, I can't, I know I can't say that, but I can tell you that it's slated to be released like October, November of 2021. So it'll be later in the year, but uh, as you know, we work on it together and I'll, I'll have, I'll can pinpoint that release date a little uh, better as time goes on. Janine asks, can I get all the things as a PDF because she's in Australia. She said it was going to cost $23 to ship it to Australia. No, it is not a PDF. I have, as if my days aren't busy enough, what I'm going to start doing February 1st, which is Monday, I am going to, so in order to get all of my releases ready and all my new charts and everything ready for the May, the May, the March release, I figured it out and I have to do the design, you know, scan it, color correct it, design the cover, write the directions and fully finish a piece, four of them a week, which I take Thursdays off because we watch the grandkids. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday, I have to do that every single day from now starting Monday until <laughs> the virtual market in order to get everything done in time. Yeah. So it, it's going to get crazy. The other thing I'm going to do is, and I, I don't know if I'll do this in starting February. I might wait and start doing this in March, but I want to convert, I want to convert one of my designs to a PDF and put it in my Etsy shop. One, one, I wanted to do one a day, but I don't know that I'm going to do that just because I have so much going on in February. But first I want to just say real quick, um, for those of you who have purchased a PDF from me through Etsy, you know, I would say 85 to 90% of you have no problem when you download it and print it, it prints fine for you. But there are people that really struggle and then I usually just send the PDF to them separately and most of the time that takes care of it. But for some, even that doesn't work. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's their printer or if it's the way I save my file. I'm not putting blame on anybody. It's it's up to me to make sure that my stuff prints correctly. So what I'm gonna start with actually before I start adding more PDFs. Basically what I do right now, what, what I have been doing is I just make the PDF from Mac Stitch, okay? Well, because I work on a Mac, Maybe Mac Stitch saves the PDF in a weird way, and then people that use a PC, maybe that's where the problem lies. I don't know. So what I have found, because you know I design uh, three patterns a month for my Patreon members, what I have been doing, and all of my new stuff that I've put on Etsy, I have been making that, like putting it into Pages, which is a publishing program. And I put the cover, the directions, the symbol key, the directions, the, I'm sorry, the cover, the chart, and the symbol key all in one file and make that a PDF. But because it's coming from a publishing uh, program, those tend to print better from what I'm gathering because I've never had someone say, this is not printing right. So... So that's a long way around saying that I need to go in to my Etsy and re, oh Lord, I really need an assistant, uh, reprogram all of those PDFs and put them into publisher 
or not publisher, but pages, which is a publishing program. So anyway, yeah, I, I just have a lot of work to do, guys. <laughs> you know, sleeping is overrated. I thought about that last night when I couldn't sleep and I had Teeny with me and she kept me up. I thought, I should just bring my lap down here. Laptop, my lap. I should bring my lap down here. I should bring my laptop down here because I'm not sleeping anyways. I might be working, but that's not a good habit to get into. <laughs> okay, whips. So... Like I said, I killed it this week. So starting on Monday, got down here early. Oh, let's put that over here. And I prepared a canvas. I cut, not a canvas, a cradle board. It's wood. But I covered it with scrapbook papers. And then, I don't know that you can really see it, but I have traced uh, a girl on there. I don't think she's going to be an angel at this point right now. She's just, I think I'm just going to do her as a, like a flowery girl. So what I did, and I created this in Photoshop a long time ago. Uh, basically, I took a photograph of a girl, and then I, I placed from another photo I placed flowers around her and I cl cleaned up all the background basically this is what's going to go on this and the colors are perfect so I can't wait to paint this with all the flowers and then I'm going to do and I'm recording myself painting it and then I'm going to do another girl with a bunch of flowers and then I'm going to make that into a tutorial because I have a lot of people that have taken my angel painting tutorials and they're like when are you going to come out with new tutorials? Like they want to continue doing that. Uh, so I'm trying to just record everything that I do. That way I can make it into a tutorial or at least I can make it into a speed painting video or what have you. So I got that done. Then I took this 30 by 40 canvas and covered it with a texturized medium. I don't even know if this is going to show up. If you're going to be able to see the texture on there, maybe if I hold it at an angle. I don't know, but it's got some great texture on it. And I have I have this really cool idea of um I have this really cool idea of what I want to paint on that. Uh musicians. Just going to say that collage work, lots of texture, musicians. It's going to be cool. So I want to do this huge series and they're all going to be large paintings of different musicians. Um, some of the like writing in there, like maybe some of the lyrics from their songs or song titles or something like that. But mm, I'm excited. So then for Witch of Paint Wednesday, I got this beautiful girl started. So this is going to be an angel. This is again, this is a 30 by 40, which is the size of the one I just showed you that had the texture stuff on it. So I put some scrapbook papers at the bottom and I love her hair. She's got lots of kinky curly hair and there's a wrong side, Therese. Why is it so hard to do this? There's a house here and a little path and some trees and some smoke coming out of the, the house. Not smoke, like it's on fire. <laughs> out of the chimney. <laughs> um, but she's an angel. I don't know if you can see. She's got angel wings. But this one is going to be super fun and whimsical. And I'm really excited to work on that. So uh, for Witch of Paint Wednesday, right now it's at 2 p.m. Eastern time. But we are talking about mixing it up a little bit and every so often do one at night so it would be 8 p.m eastern time that's when we used to do what you paint wednesday in case you don't know what that is my friend Kristen lives in tennessee she's my soul sister i live in michigan we get together on wednesdays and we paint live and chit chat with people that join us on a live so she's working on something it's a split screen she's on one half of the screen i'm on the other half of the screen we chit chat with each other we chit chat with people on the live and we paint and it's super fun and it lasts about an hour and a half to two hours but we're talking about you know mixing up a little bit because we had a lot of people following us at, at the 8 p.m one and then we switched it to two and a lot of people work during the day so they can't join us during the day it works way better for me 
because number one reason is look at it's daylight look how good the color is in here right now when i work at night painting i have to have a lot of light lights on and, and it, the color just isn't as good uh, so we're not going to do it every week at eight o'clock eastern time but uh, maybe once a month or something we'll do a nighttime one so we can you know more people can join us so those were my whips guys for my art business now I'm still working on my punch needle. I didn't touch punch needle all week. It is, like I said, it was very, very busy this week. But this morning I did work a quite a bit because ah, if you do punch needle, you know it goes really fast. So I got quite a bit done. It's just so dark. It looks good when I stand back here. The color looks good, but then all of a sudden when I zoom in, it gets really dark and I just don't understand why. But this one is, I think it's really pretty and I'm super excited to get it done. Here's the thing though, this one I probably won't work on this. I doubt you'll see it in my next floss tube just for the fact that I, I had to set it aside and I'll tell you why. Because Park Designs, if you're not familiar with Park Designs, they make hooked rugs, chair pads, runners, um, all kinds of hooked rug things. But they also do ceramics, like tabletop ceramics and stuff like that. They have awesome products, and I've worked with them for probably 19 years now. And he asked me to design a hooked rug design, you know, for their company. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. And so what I do is I'm going to sketch out the design once it's approved. Then I'm going to make a punch needle out of it. Then I send the punch needle to them because a, a punch needle is basically a mini hooked rug. It's the same thing. It's loops. It's like a rug. So that way they can get accurate color and everything. So I'll be working on that this coming week as well as all the other things. All the things. I love all the things though. And then, wait, what were the other whips? Oh, my cross stitch whip. Where is it? It's over here. You guys. <laughs> it's going. It's going ever so slowly. But... I challenged myself to do 20 to 25 stitches a day. I missed, like if I missed a day, the next day I try to double up. So I did, I did really good. I got the kitty cat done, you guys. So I'm excited about that. And I'm moving quickly onto the snowman. There it is. And I, I'll have to show you, the, well, let me show you the pattern first. No, I'm going to show you the pattern afterwards because I want to show you what I might do just because I'm, I'm getting antsy, I'm getting antsy, and I'll, I'll explain it in a minute, but. So here's my cute little kitty cat. You guys, and I think I screwed up. I'm stitching this, I thought I was stitching on 40 count, so I, oh, it's, it's just such a challenge for me. So I thought I was stitching on 40 count, so I was doing one over two. Well, I'm actually stitching on 32 count. But the coverage seems to be okay. So, this is really annoying. I need a clamp. Hold on. Oh, I got clothespins. Hey, y'all. I'm going to just keep these clothespins in this whiteboard at my floss tube table at all times. Ah, that makes life easier. So it's all wrinkled because I'm stitching in hand. I know everyone says, well, it'll be easier if you stitch with Q-snaps or a hoop, but I don't want to baby myself. Like, <laughs> I want to I want to be able to stitch in hand. That's how I want to be able to do it. So I figure I might as well learn that way. I keep getting a cramp in my thumb from holding the fabric. Oh, Lord. Um, so, yeah, 50 stitches is about all I can handle anyway right now. So... You can see I got the snowman, the lower body done, and I'm stoked because now I just got to fill in. I, that's why I did the outline first because I'm like, you know, I know some people don't like doing fill in, but I'm like, why would you not? Because you just, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to count. You just fill it in. So this was my thought, guys. This is a big pattern for a newbie, I think. It's just a bit much. Um... As much as I love the whole thing and I've seen it stitched several times by people now and I'm like it is really pretty but I'm thinking about doing this 
Okay, so I got the kitty done. I'm starting the snowman, and then I'm going to do the house and the trees. Now, I could make the trees taller, and I could just leave it at that and make like a super small, teeny tiny little, I don't know, pillow or something. Then I had the idea, well, I could stitch all of this because I love that snowman. I love the dog. And then put another house here, and then it could be like this, and it could be a drum. Of course, I would not finish the drum. And the top of the drum could be one of these flowers or the snowflake or something. Um, but I would send that to Vanna to finish. So I don't know. Instead of doing this whole thing, because like I said, it's really overwhelming for someone that's new. And I can see why y'all start a million things because, like, I'm constantly designing. And I'm, I've am i created three uh, charts for my Patreon members for February that I'm absolutely bonkers over. Uh, and then the, the one, I the one that's the smallest, it would be the cutest little pillow. And I, so I'm like, I really want to stitch that. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how y'all do it. And, and I'm always flabbergasted when I think about people that have stitched these huge samplers. And like even my model stitchers, when I send them a big sampler and they get it back to me in like three months, I'm like, how on earth? At first I didn't realize how amazing that is. I mean, it's amazing anyways. But now that I'm doing some stitching, I think, I, I don't know how they stitch so fast. Amazing. I gotta shut my furnace off, hold on. All right, I'm gonna keep going. It'll shut off in a minute. So those are my whips. Uh, I have some fully finished things. Yeah, I'm not gonna show this. I'm not gonna show this. I don't need to show that. So CW Live is where I paint live Tuesday nights um, in a private face Facebook group to people who um, have paid to be a part of the class. And we paint together. <laughs> so Save the Bees is done. I showed it last week. We had just gotten started on it. And I think she turned out super cute. I didn't do any crackle on her because because I just I did a lot of sanding and there's a lot of texture and paint spatters and stuff like that and I just didn't want the background to get too busy with the crackle. So anyways, um, and I've already had people ask me if this is going to be available as a print. I am going to have the original and prints available in my Etsy shop as soon as I can find time to put stuff in there. Then I fully finished Gentleman Crow. Gentleman Crow is a punch needle and it was, or it was, it is in my Celebrate Punch Needle book that I released, oh God, what was that, October? October, I think it was, of last year. And I love this frame. I've had this frame just floating around for a while and I'm not sure where I got it. It says right on the back. Craft Gallery. Craft Gallery. Isn't it awesome? Love that frame with that. Super cute. Okay. And these are things that I fully finished because I came down here in the morning and did creative things and painted and, you know, did things that I normally don't take the time to do because I'm you know anyways because of my new schedule so this frame I've had for quite a while I ordered it specifically for this piece from pictureframes.com and it's been sitting on the counter over here for probably three weeks or more I, I, I mean I I got it before the holidays I'm pretty sure so anyway finally now I didn't know how I was going to frame this punch needle my first thought was I was going to attach the piece to a piece of um, wool but then I remembered oh things don't stick very well to to wool um, so I took a piece of 
It's very similar to sticky board. It's kind of that thick, but it's a watercolor board and I painted it burgundy. You can see that I painted it burgundy to match the flowers, but it, I wanted something dark so it would just kind of recess in there. And I think that this frame really brings this punch needle piece together. Look how huge it is, you guys. Look at that. It's huge. <laughs> But I love it. I'm so thrilled at how this turned out. So I have to find a spot in my home to hang this. I love the saying too, this is the day the Lord has made rejoice and be glad in it. Exactly. Exactly. There's something to there's something positive in every day. So we just have to look for the positive all the time. Some days it's harder to find <laughs> the positive than other days. That, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but um there's always something positive. So that feels good having that done. I'm just trying to get it out of my way here. So my buddy, uh, Donna, Donna Fidoa, she's my friend and she, uh, She's gone to craft gallery today. She had something framed and she went to pick it up. Well, I had two things framed and she said, well, I'm going, I'll just pick yours up too. Which is awesome because Kevin and I were trying to figure out what day we were gonna go down there and pick them up. And yeah, it's a two and a half hour drive there and then two and a half an hour drive back. And while we're there, of course, we like to stay and visit and catch up with Paul and Carlton. And I like to shop and there's antiques, you know, shops around and stuff like that. So pretty much we make a day of it. But um, with the new release coming up, it was kind of like, oh, when are we going to find time to do that? So thank you so much, Donna, for picking those up. I think that's it for my finishes. Like I said, I'm just so thrilled with how productive this week was. So save or save the bees. I, w I was reading that <laughs> and that I look up and just it just comes out of my mouth. So your finishes, I'm going to skip that this week. I only have, I think I only had one to show and uh, not that that's not important, but I'm really pressured for time. So I'm just going to wait and do that next Saturday and um, see if any more come in. Haul. Okay. I got a lot of haul. A lot of haul, y'all. No, that'll be ones of the, ones of the past. We'll do that ones of the past. All right. I know I've talked about nuts.com before. I love that company so much. And uh, I I went nuts. You guys, I went nuts. So what I like to do, <laughs> this isn't even all of it. I actually have a back, bag of macadamia nuts up at the house because macadamia nuts is what that dressing that I loved was made out of. I have a ninja, ninja blender and it's super powerful. Anyways, if you guys are interested in a super yummy recipe for making your own dressing and it's super healthy, let me know. So I got a raisin medley. I love raisins, but the golden raisins are so much better than just regular black raisins. But anyway, so I like to mix raisins with blister peanuts. Oh, I could eat a whole bag of these. I love them so much. Then I bought organic dry roasted cashews. And then I bought roasted pistachio, already shelled. Roasted pistachios. And then, oh, I got two things of blister peanuts because one, I'm gonna mix it all together and the other one is just to set aside to snack on. So I'm gonna mix all these together and it just, it's, it's fantastic. Fantastic, and it's a healthy snack. I know people go, oh, well, there's so much fat in nuts, but it's good fat. It's healthy fat. It's not, you know, animal fat. It's good. It's good for you. I bought this book because when I did that three-day reset, they were talking about this book, and I'm excited to give it a shot. It's called Cook Once, Eat All Week by Cassie Jo Garcia. 26 weeks of gluten-free affordable meal prep to preserve your time and ins insanity. So, no, to preserve your time and sanity. It sounded like I said insanity, didn't I? 
it's okay it's okay guys well, I was, I was kind of reading through it a little bit so basically there's like a shopping list and you buy all the things on the shopping list and then like on Sunday or whatever day that you can you do all the things like you cook a couple roasted chickens and then you shred the chicken and you put it in a container and then she has recipes throughout the week that you use that chicken in and they're very different so it's not like oh we're having that again it, they're all very different recipes so I'm excited about it there's only what is it now I think there's four four recipes a week hold on one second one two three no there's three recipes and then there's two bonus recipes because she's counting on you having leftovers too but what I love about this is because I'm crazy busy. Sometimes I get up to the house at six o'clock and I go, oh my gosh, what am I going to make for dinner? You know, and then we're eating at eight o'clock at night and it's just, so I, I really, I, I've done meal prep, not necessarily meal prep, but I have done where I laid out the meals for the entire week and then we go grocery shopping on Sunday and I get everything I need which was nice with that three day reset. That's exactly what I did. Sunday, I got all the things that I needed. It took me two hours. I think I already told you that, maybe not. It took me two hours to find all the stuff because a lot of it was kind of obscure stuff, you know? But it was interesting to try and I'm really glad I did. Like almond coconut butter, mm-hmm, delicious. Uh, but anyway, um, so that way, every week, I know what I'm making. That, number one, that helps. But also I would make crock pot meals and I would get it ready in the morning and would, after dinner or after work, I just go up and dinner's ready. I mean, I need to make things simple on myself and we like to cook. We like home cooked meals. So anyways, I'm just going to try that book out and see what happens. What else? What else did I get? I'm not going to go through all my art supplies, but can I just show you this box of deliciousness? I bought, oh, I gotta tell you something funny too. I bought new paint brushes. Like this thing is full of paint brushes. I bought all kinds of new paints you can see in here. I bought palettes, oh, more paint brushes. But when I saw this, I was like, I was like, what the banana pants? <laughs> So I got this huge tub of light violet. What is going on? And I looked at my invoice and it's not listed on there anywhere. So I have to go through and see if they accidentally sent me this instead of something else. I really don't know. Cause this, what is this? This is 32 ounces. And I didn't think I ordered any 32 ounce thing. 20 ounce, 20 ounce, 20 ounce. So I don't know if they were running a special and just said, mm, she ordered this much stuff, like three over $300 worth of stuff. Let's just throw this in for her. That's the only thing I can think of because that is not my color, y'all. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this paint. Maybe if I mix it with some other colors, I can create something that I like. But this is not me. Look around me. Do I have anything here? Light violet. Nope. So anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. Oh, and what, something else I got. Who did I see this? I saw this on... Oh, Country Stitchers. No. No, no, no. Jean from the Attic Needlework. She got this... I'm sorry for all the rattling. I knew one would be broken. Who ships glass stuff in a plastic bag? Idiots. Idiots. Sorry. That's just stupid. I. Okay. Let me calm down first. So this is this is what I got. It's broke. I will be getting my money back. So I was watching Jean. I love Jean. And her cohort, I love her too. My gosh, her name escapes me right now. I'm so sorry. They're so cute. And Jean, so I've met Jean at market, of course. 
and she is seriously as sweet in person as she is on her videos. She is the kindest, most soft-spoken, sweet person. I love her so much. She was showing that she stitched a little tiny small cross stitch that fits inside this. And as soon as I saw this thing, I was like, I have to have that. And I had a hard time seeing because I, I rewound it and then I paused the video and I'm trying to read like, where do I buy that? But I kind of could recognize Tim Holt, uh, like his packaging and stuff. So I went to Joanne Fabric online and I looked up these lockets. I put Tim Holt locket in there and they came up. So I ordered 10 of them. I'm, I think I'm going to see if I can apply for a wholesale account with Tim Holt because Tim Holtz, I keep saying his name wrong, uh, because I use a lot of his stuff. Why can't I get these open? Okay, so I couldn't get it open because you, there's a button at the top. You push the button and it opens. So I can put um, my angel, my angel prints in there and stuff. Oh, I love these. And what I'm going to probably do, I don't know. I bought 10 of them. I think it would be fun to make it so that you, you can interchange what goes inside. Like maybe have 10 different you know, angels or some sayings or whatever. And then the, I don't know. Anyways, if I can get these wholesale, I might carry them in my Etsy shop with my angel inserts. And then of course I would sell, you know, something to make, you'd want it hanging down low and I would sell it with a chain of some sort that would match this. Any whoosie whatsies. So this is what I was surprised about is I ordered it from Joanne's and then like two days later, I got one. I got one. I'm like, I ordered 10. What's going on? So upon closer, a closer look, like three were coming from this person and two were coming from this person and one was coming from this person and one was coming from this person. And I'm like, so they're kind of like Amazon, I guess. Like, I didn't know that. I thought if you order from Joanne, it comes from the Joanne store. No, not necessarily. These came from different people all over the place. So whoever this, I almost said, I almost said, uh, whoever this person is, they owe me a new one. Why would you ship something that's breakable in just a plastic or a little cheapy envelope? So anyway, I got 10 of those now. Well, I got nine because one broke. <laughs> I think that's it for haul, which is enough, don't you think? Pretty sure that was it. Okay, moving along. So, whims of the past. This is one of my, one of my whims of the past. Sally Jean, I don't know if you are familiar with her. She's been around forever, it seems like. I have followed her in, bought her stuff. I bought her book on assemblage and I just love her style. Well, I purchased this so many years ago. So she takes like old photographs and then she collages hats and wings and butterfly wings and stuff on them and puts words on them. And then on the back, oh my gosh, does, is that me or what? I must make art. So anyway, I was looking for something in my studio one day and I, I found this. I had forgotten that I had it. So now I have it hanging right on my computer. I love it so much. So then it made me say, oh my gosh, I wonder if she's still making and selling things. So I searched for her. I found a place where she was selling some stuff and I'll link it below. She didn't have a lot of stuff on there. Um, and I ordered two things. But, because I ordered one for me and I ordered one for my soul sister, Kristen, only one came and they crossed out the other one and said that it was out of stock. So here is the other one that I got. 
Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get this string off. Well, just know that this maroon string is not part of it. This one's so cute. It is shaped, it's in the shape of a house. And it says love. And then on the back, it's just a heart. It's got some words in it. And it says 446. Anyway, super cute. So I ordered two, and then I was going to show them both to Kristen and let her pick which one she wanted. Well, now she's just going to get this one. So I have a soldering gun. I have the solder. I have the liver of sulfur that makes them look old. Uh, I have everything to make this kind of stuff, you guys. I have made some in the past. But she got my my creative gears turning again and I was like, oh, I would love to just spend one day, like just take one day and make a bunch of these. So the interesting thing was when I Googled her name, Sally Jean, what a, is it Sally Jean jewelry or I can't remember exactly what I searched. Well, guess what? I found on Etsy, I think it's Mr. Sally Jean. So I'm assuming it's her husband. He sells the glass. He sells the glass in these different shapes and sizes. So the house shape was on there. I don't know if there's a heart shape, but the triangles, squares, all the different sizes that Sally uses, he sells the glass. And the glass has already been like kind of sanded so it's not gonna cut you and stuff like that. Sanded? I don't know if they sand them, but anyways. Uh, so, I know. I don't have time for this. I know I don't. But, you know, there might be a time like, let's say Kevin goes hunting. Um, so we're talking like fall. <laughs> but like, let's say he goes hunting and, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, I'm like, oh, I'm here by myself. Maybe I'll just go down and play. And it wouldn't take me long to make some of those necklaces. This, I forget what this chain's called where it's, it's like, like little balls. I don't know. And they got that little clamp. I don't know. I like those chains. I have a ton of it. Like I used to make jewelry, guys. So I have everything that I need to do it except the time. So we'll see. Sometime in 2021, I'm just going to take an afternoon and make some. Okay, another whims of the past. So I found this old sketchbook. I mean, I wish I could find a date in here somewhere. I'm sure maybe somewhere there is a date. But there were some things in here that I'm like, these have not seen the light of day, but they need to. Oh my gosh. So I want to do some small, just some small little cross stitch um, charts and release them on, you know, Etsy as PDFs. This one cracks me up. I don't know why I never painted it, but this, this sketchbook has to be 15 years old. So look at these, look at these little plants. They're like little holly and they come up and they're little snowmen. <laughs> it's so quirky, I love it. So I found some things in here I wanted to share with you cause I'm like, oh, I'm totally charting that. These are fun. These are um, little yum, yummy licious. I was trying to think of names. I got Candyman, Scoops, Yummy Licious, and Snow Delicious. So they're just uh, little snowmen, but they're actually made out of ice cream. Look at the one. Look at the banana split one. You can see I spilled my coffee on it. But they're little snowmen. I just thought those were fun. Oh yeah, and some Halloween. Oh my gosh, I gotta find it though. <laughs> I just found a Santa that I have to do. This was so long ago that I was actually sketching how to do my logo. Teresa Koga, creative inspirations to cross it out. Teresa Koga at home. Teresa Koga primitives. I mean, this was just so long ago, you guys. Okay, so I have this sketch, which this Saltbox Farm is actually a uh, punch needle. 
and it says from the heart 2010 which if it if it was for the from the heart calendar for 2010 I would have been painting it in 2008 in the summer of 2008 so I'm gonna guess that this book is from 2008 which makes this 12 about 13 14 years old yeah all right but I gotta find where did I see that I thought this cat was hilarious look at this cat He's got angel wings and he's got a pumpkin hanging off his tail. This is hilarious. Christmas Rush. So it says coffee shop and they'll probably, I probably was going to have a big coffee cup there. But the sheep is taking off and look at Santa. He's like, whoa, and he's got it. He dropped his coffee cup. But the one that really caught my eye was this guy. Look at that Santa. Isn't he funny? <laughs> these have to these have to come to life, you guys. Um, this is also where I sketched a lot of the fabulous monsters. I mean, I'm not showing you everything in here because a lot of it's just really rough, rough sketches. Come on now. Okay, I fell in love with Helga. So Helga Days, it says have her doing thing, her favorite things. Um, it says in the spring, holding dead flowers, put bunny ears on the cat. Summer, have cookout, bat burgers. <laughs> Gross. Um, fall, Halloween, having her stir bat soup. In the winter, make snowman with witch hat broom in a scary face. Have her painting a portrait, have her having tea with eyeballs in it, have her shopping. So, not this one, but so here's Helga. That's Helga. Here's um, Helga on her broom. She's hilarious. Helga flying and looking a little bit scared there for some reason. This is Helga, a side view of Helga. Oh, side view overhead and then here is Helga oh, hold on this is it's on two pages that's gardening Helga so Helga days I'm kind of thinking that would be a cute little cross stitch series oh and I had a little um, logo that I was developing Helga days it's just So long ago, all right, I got to get to the ones that I thought. This has um, Curious Bunny sketch in it, and all my fabulous monsters are in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this little girl. She's on a little cart, but look at her little face. That would be really cute as cross stitch. Okay, let's see. Sorry, this seems a little bit unorganized, doesn't it? Okay, it doesn't seem a little unorganized. It is a little unorganized. More fabulous monsters. Oh, my zippity doodah characters are in here. Okay, so here's the ones that I. definitely want to do so it started with oh lord oh, sh oh you didn't hear that oh i just dropped a bunch of stuff okay so this is this little guy he actually is a punch needle this is a punch needle and a cross stitch that's curious bunny okay so then i went to this little bunny where the bunnies are hugging and notice that the flowers are kind of making a heart and it says the joy of life is to love okay so fast forward a few pages oh lord there we go okay um so then we have these trees that are forming a heart we found 
no, love found down on the farm. And it's a couple little sheep. Uh, and that, I think that was the only one on that page. And then a couple pages beyond that. Oh, we have some fun stuff. Look at Okay. Focus, Teresa. Then this one kind of has the same feel. True love. This cat is fun. These would be cute little smalls. Look at her with her little chickens. This one, I think I did a painting of this one. A robin. Um, and then these cute little girls. <laughs> They're kind of funky looking. All right. And then this says potting shed. But look at, I love this one. It's a little fox and he's all curled up. It says peaceful moon and the moon's up there. But again, the tree forms a heart. There's a couple of other ones on there. And I think that was it. Yeah, that was it for that. Those would be really cute little smalls, I think. What else? It seems like there was something else in here I found. I gotta go look at what I dropped on the floor because that might be it. Okay, <laughs> then I've got these Snow Queen. Look at these funky snowmen. I like this one right here, Snow Queen. She's dancing, she's got a little tutu on. Uh, so, I didn't want to have to, I really don't want to, edit this video a lot. I'm kind of all over the place. So then I've got Jeeper Creepers Pumpkin Carving Contest. I don't know what that's all about. But then I drew like this family, kind of like the Adams family. So we've got the mom and the dad. So we got Jeepers, or Jeeper is the dad. Ursula is the mom. Jeepers Jr., Jeremiah, Tabitha, Look at her, Tabitha. And then it says Helga, the grandma. So remember when I showed you Helga days? She's the grandma and she'll be in there too. So I don't know. These were just random sketches that I had in this book that I, I'm not so sure where the heck this book was all this time, but I was cleaning out this one little area and I found it and I'm like, some of these in here are just too cute not to. Um, do something with, don't you think? So, anyway, that's a little whims from the past, you guys. Okay, I think we are just going to move right on to the giveaway. Um, plans this week, what are my plans? To do the same thing I did this past week and kick butt. I'm going to come down here early in the morning and I'm going to paint. Uh, I hope to have uh, maybe at least two paintings to show you guys next week. It'd be awesome to get two paintings done this week, this coming week. So that I, you know, just continue my 20 to 25 stitches a day on winter bouquet. I hope to get, no, I'm not gonna get that punch needle done because I will be working on that punch needle for part designs, which will probably be something I can't show you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that a secret. And, um, and then prepare for the release, fully finished. I mean, I got plenty. <laughs> plenty uh, and then I've got about four model stitchers that are looking for me to send them something so I need to do the floss toss on the linen and pull the floss colors and get that all finalized and sent out so uh, I got to keep stuff going oh you guys so Jerry she's a stitcher in Canada she has stitched a lot for me she's an amazing stitcher she has finished my Silhouiches Quaker and it's gonna be amazing and I cannot wait for it to come in if it comes in in time but it's coming from Canada so who knows um, if it comes in in time I will release that in March if it doesn't come in in time I'll release it in May which is still you know plenty of time to get a good start on it or even possibly finish it for this Halloween but it is so stinking cute you guys are gonna go 
Okay, this week, this week I, um, oh first, last week, last week the winner uh, gets to choose a pattern from my Etsy shop and I will insert the YouTube random comment picker here. <laughs> the reflection's so bad. Hi everyone. <laughs> okay, let's see who's the winner this week. You had to say make it happen and the winner, the winner, the winner is Linda Satterthwaite, Satterth, Satterth, Satterth. Wait, sorry if I said your name wrong. She said, make it happen 2021. Jean Farish has a hint about preventing knots. She has a wee jar with a sponge with water and she draws the thread across the sponge, wetting it. Works like crazy. No more knots. Hmm. Then the lady at the attic has a hint about cross-stitching the little red button. Top left, top left, right bottom. That cross direction will keep your thread tension even and thought I would share. Love your designs. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Linda, for sharing those two tips that might help not only me, but other people. Top, top left to right bottom. Hmm. I've been stitching bottom right and then I go to the top left and then I come up through the bottom left and I cross to the top right so I don't know I'll have to watch those videos <laughs> thank you guys for all your comments congratulations Linda uh, if you could just email me here at TeresaCoga3 at gmail.com I will get your pattern to you just let me know which pattern you want and then uh, this week one of the needle minders oh, my bad I didn't have one picked out <laughs> shame 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 Teresa 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 are you kidding me all right so we have Rejoice Angel, Star Shaped Snowman, uh, Bloom and Hen, and uh, Be Kind, Land That I Love. Those are your choices. You get to choose one of those. So let's see what our word's going to be. I don't even have my angel card here because I'm unorganized. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, on the front it says, Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37, 4. So, focus. Dad coming. Here, really. My camera is misbehaving. Oh, there we go. It found her face. All right, so on the back, it says, you are worthy of love and respect. Surround yourself with supportive and encouraging people. Amen, amen, I say to you. Okay, this is going to be blurry on me now. Nope. Um, ooh, 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 do I love that. You know, people, you are a big part of who you surround yourself with, okay? Um, you pick up their habits and their, you know, uh, their negativity or whatever. So support or support yourself. Surround yourself with supportive and encouraging and positive people. It will make a huge difference in your life. I know people say, well, you know, what if it's family? Well, I'm not saying disown your family or, or don't see somebody, but but that's what I love about Floss Tube is that, you know, it, if you watch a lot of Floss Tube, everyone on there is encouraging. They're excited about needlework and uh, it's uplifting and it's, uh, it, it makes you excited about the craft that you're doing. So, you know, even, even that, even though you're not in the room with that person, even though you're not in the room with the person on floss tube, it sure feels like it, you know? So avoid people that give you grief, avoid people that bring you down, avoid people that are super negative. You know, I, I mean, life is short. And I, I can't stand drama, and I can't stand pettiness and laziness, and <laughs> I, you know, I don't hang out with people like that. That's it. I need to just stop. Stop talking, Teresa. Let the people go. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for being here. I just, I love this community, and you guys, I do get so inspired watching uh, Floss Tube and oh, Floss Toss. 
I'm binge watching them. Uh, I'm trying to think of their names. Rebecca. Oh, right on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, I love them. They are from the knitting world and now they're doing floss tube videos. I think they're up to like 13 or 16 or something like that. I'm only on number five. Like they're talking about, they just, the one I just watched, they just got Coming to America by Brenda Gervais and they're super excited to start it. And so this is like in August. So it's fun. It keeps, it messes with me though, because they'll say, some, she's like, well, I'm going to spend the day at the pool. And I'm like, God, they must live somewhere warm. And then I'm like, oh, that's right. This is freaking August. Anyways, but I think Rebecca, if that's, if I have her name right, she's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I'm like, hey, Rebecca. I mean, that's not that far. Um, you know, so maybe this summer or something, it would be, I would love to meet her and have like, cause they're so excited about cross stitch and knitting and quilting and what are the, uh, the other things that they're doing? They're just in everything that they talk about and their excitement about it. And, um, they're just in love with what they're creating. And I feel the exact same way. So super cool. So check them out. I'll have a link below. All right, guys, you guys have a wonderful week. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also hit the like button. That helps my channel. Um, also, I at TeresaCoket.com, I have been more active on my blog and posting more photos. Like if, when I show everyone's uh, fully finished pieces on here, you know, it's quick on the screen or whatever. If you want a better look at something, you can go to TeresaCoket.com and every floss tube, I'm showing things that I showed in my video. Okay. Uh, I might elaborate on something a little more. It, not always. I did do an extra post showing my progress progress when I painted, um, carry no burdens. Everyone was so sweet with the comments. Everyone seemed to really love that angel. And so I did a blog post separate about that showing all my progress photos and also all the videos from what you paint Wednesday showing me paint it. So, you know, if you are, if you burn through all your favorite floss tube videos and you're looking for something to watch, you know, watch me and Kristen paint and you can see me paint that from start to finish. So anyways, just a little side note there. So have a wonderful week. Thank you guys for all your support and love and don't forget create every day. Bye. Mm -hmm. I'm going fucking so mad. You want to watch Frosty Snowman? I want to color Frosty Snowman. Oh, you want to color him? Uh huh. Do we have a coloring book of him? Yeah. I don't think so. Frosty Snowman, color Frosty Snowman. We'll have to go when I'm at the store next time. I'll see if I can get you one of those. Oh. No, 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 no. You guys made me dinner. You gotta, eat, you gotta eat your dinner first. You gotta eat your dinner first? You gotta eat me dinner all the whole time. Oh. <laughs> you gotta eat your dinner too. Yes. Well, guess what? Your lunch is ready. Are you ready to eat? Well, I'm coloring. Okay. I'm coloring to mommy head. You're coloring? Okay, but you gotta eat lunch. I'm coloring to mommy head. You're coloring mommy's head, I know. But you can finish it after lunch, right? You have to do it now? I have. I didn't want to do it with it. I know what I want to do for it. I want to do it with the real. Now how are you going to get back out? Rocky. Yeah. Rocky. You did it. Oh, yeah. You're a big girl. I'm a big guy. I'm going to put that out too. Yeah. Good job. You are a big girl. I'm a big girl. You all together and you're doing the color and you're doing the space. Fuck <laughs> it. No, I told you. You threw it on the floor. You can't have it right now. You need to finish eating, please. Can you do that? Yeah. You can. All done. This is the child that eats everything. Okay. You're going to be starving Marvin for dinner, aren't you? Fishy. Yeah? Hey, what are you talking to? Talking to Bubby. Oh, who talking about a room? I'm not talking on the phone. I'm recording you. Oh. oh.
Are you tired of being recorded all the time? Yeah. Yeah? I'll be tired. He's tired of it too? But you're so cute. Yeah, I know the baby. We can't help it because you're so cute. Are you going to go for it again? Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Eat it up. Yeah, peas. Mmm. And then he pushes. Don't play with your plate, please. Leave it in one spot. You're all done, too? Are you all done? Done. Done? I'm not all done. What the banana pants? What the banana pants? <laughs> that was for you stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he never growls like that. Like, only when they're doing tug of war. Yeah, I've never heard him do that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 